Well, good morning, guys. I just arrived here at clinic and um, filling up my water here. Update on the shirataki rice. The uh, cauliflower oatmeal rice pudding gamish. I, I'm loving those things, but I will say this. If you're expecting a, a rice texture, you will be sadly disappointed. It is more the consistency of tapioca, I would say. Um, so I would call it more of a uh, tapioca tapioca type pudding but did y'all see that um the um nut butter that i got on vitacost like eat out of the jar delicious and it has no added sugar it's just like nuts and hemp protein um completely vegan so that was a vitacost win i mean vitacost is winning so far the only thing that sucked is that pe science but that's not a vitacost brand that's just you know what it is. I'm almost I'm almost done with the torture on that one. Almost done. Anyways, I wanted to one other thing, uh skincare related guys. So I've got Cooley Bar on and congratulations, we've got some Cooley Bar owners in the audience um now. So congratulations. Um but you know what? I was doing my uh my reading last night and they just published a randomized control trial where people were given either <clears throat> an umbrella or sunscreen at the beach. Um, people who had a, a who stayed under an umbrella still got sunburned um, more so than people who used and applied sunscreen appropriately. So the take-home point of that, with spring break being around and summer and what have you, is do not rely on being under the umbrella at the beach, okay? Because the sand reflects the sun, you can still get a burn. It, it's helpful, don't ditch your umbrella, but don't be under that thing thinking that you're completely covered, okay? Um, make sure you're doing sunscreen and get, get you some coolie, you know? Do a mambo combo. I better get in and uh, start getting to work. So check in with you guys. I'll show you my lunch at lunch hour. I'll, I'll do a pan scan over my lunch. Okay, so for my lunch I have the red beans and then the sweet potatoes on spinach with uh, chopped red bell pepper and uh, some nutritional yeast like last time. And then I get an apple here and I'm having it with one of these uh, guava teas that I got at Costco. And then at this particular cafeteria, they sell these little salads for like a dollar, so I get those to supplement the veg game. <laughs> and they also come with saltines, which I am obsessed with. Saltines, I can seriously eat an entire like roll of these guys. <laughs> Well, hey guys, uh, clinic day is done, and you know that feeling when you've been in the uh, AC all day and you got a, a slight chill and you get in your car and it's been in the sun all day and it's nice and, and warm, and eh, so those endorphins getting released by the ultraviolet radiation. Opioid chemicals are released in the skin that feel nice, make you feel good, um, <laughs> just like uh, heroin. Uh, tanning can be addictive, I, I think I've mentioned that on here before, but if you're addicted to tanning in the tanning bed, I it can be so addictive that uh, if you get in the tanning bed with fake bulbs in it, that just have uh, plain bulbs, you'll go through withdrawal. It's for, it's for reals. Um, but I've got Cooley and I've got sunscreen and I got my eyes protected. If only I had my Cooley bar hat, then I'd really be a superstar, but um, I'm slacking there. So yeah, uh, Monday I finished off my uh, Audible. Remember I was listening to Hillbilly Elegy? I highly recommend that book. I, I found it very uh, in, in entertaining and enlightening. It's a non-fiction, um, but now I just uh, fired up Leanne Moriarty, as the, the woman's uh, voice instructs me to uh, pronounce. I hope I'm saying that right. Um, my second Leanne Moriarty book, uh, The Husband's Secret, my mother said it's quite good, so um, I listened to that on the way here, and it, it was entertaining. And some of you have commented on today's video that a, a man called Ove is good. It's hard to, it's hard for me to find the time anymore to read for pleasure, so making use of uh, the car time, I, I really like. I think there's, so, um, not to gloat, but I think there's a blizzard today in many of you guys' areas. I mean, by the time you see this video, it will have hopefully passed and you'll be on to sunnier days but can you just appreciate the great state here through the barbed wire fence and ignore him but um, look at that sky that sky that sky anyways guys I'm gonna head home now and I'll check in with you guys later and I've got one of my lime vanilla cream waters totally loving this this is just ice 
half a lime squeeze and a few drops of the Stevia Sweet Leaf Vanilla Cream Drops. Um, I'll link them down below. You can get them on the Amazonian. I'm totally loving this. It's like it's like Sonic Happy Hour, only not as deadly. Um, but speaking of beverages, guys, I want to do a beverage update because I'm really into beverages. Um, much to my uh, joy, I was greeted by a little notification that the Amazonian came and <laughs> look what I got. <laughs> you guys were asking, am I still on this bandwagon? And you know it. So I got myself another bag of it. Um, if you're new here, I am a huge fan of, this is the Spice Farm Golden Goddess Turmeric Chai Elixir. Um, this is not sweet, guys, uh, at least in my opinion. It um, has, it's completely vegan, made with coconut milk. Um, it's got cinnamon, and then it's got ashwagandha in it, which I'm no, um, you know, holistic healer. And I, I don't know much about it other than it does seem to improve my focus. I just anecdotally observed that. Um, but yeah, I just love this stuff. But I also love cooking with it in like, as like a dusting on vegetables and stuff. It's really delicious. Um, so I got some of that. And then another update, you'll, re you'll remember a while ago, you'll remember a while back I talked about this Lachinato, I think I'm saying that right, drinking chocolate, I'm obsessed with this. And when I got it last time, I mentioned it on here and that I got it on Amazon and I swear the next day they completely sold out. I don't know if that was traffic from you guys just buying it up, but some of you said that you got it and you enjoyed it, so comment below on it if you're still drinking it. Because I have been stalking the Amazonian and they have not been carrying the chocolate one and they got it in so I got myself three bags of it but I completely adore this stuff um, it's sweetened with monk fruit so if you have issues with that you probably won't like it um, but it's sweetened with monk fruit it's completely vegan and it claims to have probiotics in it yeah I mentioned uh, someone had asked me are probiotics um, helpful for um, skin and there is some evidence that, that probiotics can be helpful um, but you know it's hard to know uh, which ones to recommend but um, this I, I really enjoyed so I, I got three bags of it I like having this at night um, it's, it's quite nice Okay, and then Costco beverage update. Um, this is my Costco impulse buy this week, and you saw that I had one today with me at lunch. This, guys, OMG. I'm not a big tea drinker. I, you know, iced tea, I like um, Southern Lipton iced tea uh, with lemon, unsweetened. But I, otherwise, I don't really drink hot tea that much. Um, I'm more of a coffee gal. Um, but I mentioned on my Friday Costco haul that I saw this uh, guava tea, and it is really good. It is really good. It um, does have 80 milligrams, I believe, 81 milligrams of caffeine um, in it. So if you're caffeine sensitive or, or can't tolerate caffeine, bear that in mind before you commit to 12 of these at Costco. Um, but I really, really like it. Um, it does come in a plastic bottle, which is not ideal, but um, you can recycle that, I suppose. Or you can get a five cent refund. It's non-GMO. Um, so yeah, I, I'm really enjoying that. And then a food update. You guys saw I used this this morning. OMG, this is so good, you guys. I got this on Vitacost, if you're new here. I got this on Vitacost, my most recent Vitacost haul. It's the Golo Hemp and Pea Protein Almond Spread, no sugar added. All it is, the only ingredients are almonds, uh, sustainable palm oil, hemp protein, pea protein, and chicory. Chicory is a sweetener, I guess. Um, it's touted as being a protein, like a protein peanut butter, but honestly, it only has eight grams of protein per two tablespoons. It's really no more than any nut butter, but it's delicious. It's delicious. I had it this morning on my cauliflower oatmeal, just drizzled, but I, I can imagine that this you know what I'm gonna do with it tonight? I've got a baked sweet potato in, in my fridge. I'm gonna dust a little bit of cinnamon on it and spread this in there. That is gonna be, I'm already getting hungry. Um, but anyways, I'm gonna head out to the gym and go for a run. We're, I'm transitioning into the daylight savings time where it stays daylight out longer and it, it makes me think that I have more time when I really don't. <laughs> and it gives me even more energy, so I, I need to, to kind of rein in my sleep cycle a little bit and get get on my schedule but that's where I'm at
Well, hey guys, I just got back from the gym and showered. Coming in with my lime uh, vanilla water yet again. Coming in, I'm getting a lot of questions. Am I still using um, Differin and ad Adapling? Absolutely. And the second question that I get is, am I still using benzoyl peroxide? And the answer is yes. I use a, a benzoyl peroxide wash to my body in the shower. Um, leave it on the skin for a few minutes and then rinse it off to my back. And, and it sites prone to breaking out um, related to, to working out. And then on my face, since I've been tolerating different so well, um, I introduced back into my routine, of course, as you all know, mid-January, I brought back in my 10% uh, Zapzit here. And I've been using this alongside with, uh, with this. And I'll remind you guys that it's perfectly safe, if you're new here, it's perfectly safe, it's perfectly fine to combine benzoyl peroxide with uh, Differin. Um, it's, uh, that has been shown quite well, in fact, there is a cream called EpiDuo that is in fact that. Um, benzoyl peroxide 2.5% and different. So if you uh, combine a 2.5% uh, benzoyl peroxide over the counter with, with a Dapline, I call that the EpiDuo dupe. See, that is, that is a case in which knowing the name of the ingredient can be quite helpful. Um, you know, it is fine to use those. Other retinoids, um, you know, may, other retinoids no, but adapalene has been shown to, to be stable in the presence of benzoyl peroxide, um, hence EpiDuo. Um, you know, the other thing that I really want to, that I advocate on here and I'm very cautious about on, on here is in, um, you know, making general recommendations, one size fits all recommendations. You know, it, for example, in the case of acne, if you have hormonal acne, um, and if you have hormonal acne, that's something, you know, acne is, is a medical disease that requires evaluation and management, um, in my opinion, as a dermatologist. And g Googling it, it just isn't, isn't enough. Um, you know, everybody's acne is different and requires a different approach. If you have hormonal acne, for example, um, nothing over the counter, including retinoids and, and benzoyl peroxide, are going to get at the hormonal component. There's just not a cream that will get at the hormonal component that you can you can buy at the drugstore or anything. So while these will while these ingredients are helpful for all comers of acne. They are not enough for all comers of acne, okay? And an individual's tolerance for these ingredients and response to these ingredients is highly variable depending on the nature of your acne, your age, etc. Um, these things all factor into play. So, you know, I can show you how I use it for my acne and, you know, the different I'm also using to kind of clear out any uh, sun damaged skin cells. But, um, you know, it, it's something that I encourage you to to really, um, you know, get in to see somebody about these things. Um, so to make sure that you're appropriately evaluated and managed, okay? Um, those are important aspects of that. Because otherwise, you know, you pick up a magazine or Google this stuff and it's gonna lead you down the wrong path every time. This channel can, you know, I can teach you guys about skin and skin care health and skin care ingredients and, and what's been shown, but nothing can replace the, the relationship between you and your provider, so. I just wanted to conclude with that, um, and I hope you guys are having a great week. Thank you so much for watching this video. Um, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and as always, don't forget, sunscreen and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye. <laughs>